Hey guys, welcome back to Zombie City, where I have been working on populating this little hotel back here. I say little and I say populating, but these are two very uh, relative uh, terms. Uh, it's quite quite a big building, as you can see here. And by populating, I mean I've put one person in. This is Bevy. Uh, she has, or he, I, I'm not sure how we're going to do that, has been developing a relationship with a Kevy back there. Let me just, uh, I don't know, let's smash this one in and kind of run in. Uh, I am going to I'm going to do this just like this. Let, let's show you guys exactly what we've been doing here over the past week. I walk up to Kevin and he goes Hi, can you do me a favour please? I'm like, what? Me? You're talking to me? Okay, you must be, yeah. Thank you so much. I've been developing relationships with the villager in the hotel room across the street. Could you take this rose to them? And look, you can see them right there. So that should be nice and easy. Now what you should do is make your way down the tower, make your way out through past corporal door stop over there make your way in here talk to the receptionist try and get a key card so you can go in the the elevator and make your way up to go see bevy that there's a bit of a uh, bit of extra stuff going on there but we're just going to uh, jump straight through the window here and bevy goes Oh, yeah, can I can I do something for you? Like, yeah, and I, uh, can I do something for you? Okay, it must be that I have to give her the rose or him. I, I don't know, I kind of thought this is the female and that's the male, but of course, they're villagers. They're like as androgynous as they come, so you can't you can't really call either of them the male or female. But there you go, I give Bevy uh, the rose, and it's like, oh, oh, thank you so much. I've been, you have been so kind already, but can I ask one more flavor? One more flavor? Yes, I would like one more flavor out of you. Peppermint, by preference. No, one more favor from you. Please take this note back to Kevy, and I'm like yeah cool so you're supposed to go out uh, through the door use the elevator system to go back down say hey to the receptionist again work your way back out fight the zombies on the way past get the corporal door stop to let you in go up the door up the uh, stairway stairway is the word I'm looking for there and come back to Kevy. unfortunately I can't get this bit to work. And the thing is, it should be exactly the same bit of code, shouldn't it? It should be exactly the same. If I come in here, uh, this one. Nope, not that one. Uh, th th this one. You can see that this one is going, hey, do you have this token of love? Um, rose, because that, that's what it is. We called the rose token of love. So it should be just the same here. Look, display name, note to Kevy. Uh, but unfortunately, for some reason, failed to execute the test four at him. And, and I'm not I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe it's this five, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that, that's it, okay, let's, let's work through it, okay? So what's going on is we're executing at a villager tagged ST love. Now that, that is Kevy. I can tell you that the villager tagged ST love is Kevy. Um, you can tell because he tried to do it down here. Um, then next time we're testing for a player within five blocks of him, which uh, who is holding that's the selected item tag something called with a name note to Kevy, which which should be this, should be this. Look, let's let's come back here. No, note to Kevy. I don't see any reason why that is not a thing. Uh, so that that's a problem there. If anybody can figure out what I've done wrong there, I would be so incredibly grateful you you literally have no idea because it, it's the same i literally copied and pasted the one from here and and just changed the name because that's the only thing that's different i, I just don't know anyway uh so to solve that what i'm gonna do well not to solve that but just to just leave that in the background i'm, I'm gonna clear all my scores that that's a full reset line there you can see that i've got like uh this is Kevy's logic, this line over here in the distance. The first half is uh, saying hello and giving the rose. That bit there, nice and easy. This is Bevy's line. I don't know why I've done them separately. I just decided that I was going to do them separately. And then here is the number three part of Kevy. So that that's a thing. If you guys want to see full command block rundown, there should be a uh, link in the description to a Google Drive that has a text document with all that stuff in there. If you guys could you know, give it a look, find out what I'm doing wrong, then that would be great. Okay, next pla next thing that I really want to do, welcome to the mall tunnel. This this is actually the one of the first things I want people to do. After they've kind of messed around in there, messed around in there, I want them to get told that, hey, all these emeralds you've earned, we're we going to do emeralds as, a, as an economy? I think we might. All these emeralds you've earned, or all these uh, zombie kills or something like that, you can go and spend that money in the mall getting equipment. So we want to have this as a nice, easy run all the way down. Now you might notice that there's a little bit of a kink in here. Uh, that's because I originally built a great big straight straight path. And I looked down there and I was just like, this great big straight path, 
Rubbish. I hate it. Blech. Just dislike it so much. So I did a little bit of selecting with World Edit. Yeah, I got World Edit on the go now, uh, and shunted it over. So I will demonstrate how we did this. I'm gonna just make sure I've got a selection right. Now, obviously, trying to select the correct blocks can be a little bit awkward. We want to try and grab stuff from within this wall. Uh, so I think I want to select that one like that. And I'm just gonna pop those back, and we want to come all the way down here. Now I jumped two lines there so I'm gonna do the same again we're gonna come down here like this like this and select that one I hope maybe maybe let's see what happens if we do a slash slash move uh, I probably I'm gonna to have to move one myself da -da. did it work did it not work it's not look, look, look it's, it's not done the thing that I wanted it to do that's that's un. An undo offence? Yeah, look at that. Uh, ah! <laughs> you, you guys know what I did, right? I know what I did. It's quite funny. Uh, I, should, I should know better. Like, there? That, that, that's what we wanted to do. Because, of course, I selected the top. I need to select the bottom. No. Uh, so, if we just go back like this, that should now... Yeah, give us a little shunt over this way. Which I kind of like. I kind of like. We've got to do something to try and tidy up these corners. But I want to carry on shunting. Let's let's get rid of that to the mall thing. I, I know where it goes now. It's, it's very much a uh, standard feature that this goes off to the mall. So, now that we've done that once, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do it a couple more times and see what it looks like. So, let's grab that one. I'm going to have to fill in all that space back there somehow. I, d I don't know what we should fill it in with. Probably just going to fill it in with dirt. Uh, and then like that. And then once again, we do the move one. Bam. Oh, it, it's starting to look good. A little bit of a zigzag back and forth. No, no, yeah, is it a zigzag? Is it just a gentle list lazily to the left? I'm not sure. If it was in Star Wars, I know we'd be calling it some moves. But uh, yeah, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I think I kind of want it to have gone a little bit sharper. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. One thing I am sure about, though, is that I want to fill these little gaps in. I, I think I want to do it like this. I think I want this nice sharp edge here. We could do that but I, hmm, I don't think it looks as good I, I honestly don't think it looks as municipal as this I'm not sure about that as well but you know we'll live with it we will live with it you know what I'm gonna actually go just with one here so let's uh, break that grab that is that high enough no of course not of course not uh, let's grab that instead. Uh, just fill that in like so. You, you must be getting the idea by now. Must be getting the idea. I'm actually, even though that's a one, I'm going to go for a two here. Uh, oh, look, a little bit of coal. How very interesting. How very interesting. And are we at the point yet where we can't see the other side? We're not. And I've got a feeling this is going to take a lot, lot of time. So, okay. Let me... Hmm. Ooh. It's almost good like that. Oh, Hello. Hello, I don't think we'll be doing that, thank you. Uh, weather clear. Be gone with you. Be a goner with you. Okay, I'm going to take a little moment to sort this out and then start thinking about how the tunnel is going to carry on. And hopefully I would have come up with something different for how Kevy's going to work. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe we'll get on with the receptionist. I mean, the thing that I really, really want to do is kind of seal this area off, seal this... Um, this elevator off from everything else. I want it down here to be like utility ways. I'm probably even going to put like a door here and a door here and seal it off and then maybe put a glass wall here. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can have like staff room, um, maybe staff kitchen as well. Have the little staff area here and then a doorway system holding people back there. Uh, anyway, anyway, I, I have talked on for long enough already and I can't roll my ah, uh, uh, where did that come from? I'll see you when I've done some stuff. And so, Kevy, I did go over to the hotel and I gave your rose to that person over there and she wants me, or he wants me, sorry, I can't make that judgment call, to give you this. And look, it worked! Hey! So what I had to do, let, let's come down here and show you guys. This, this literally took me like days and days to figure out. But this, this used to be an if statement like this. Oh, I, I think about them as if statements. This used to be a conditional block like this with the test for. Uh, no longer do we have the test for it's this one sorry no longer do we test for but we actually add a tag if you have a look this scoreboard players tag selects a player 
Uh, but that is not the only uh, variable you can put into this. You then add the love note, and then at the end, you get to select a bunch of NBT tags to to try and match with the player, uh, which is amazing. That 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 kind of just adds this other level of conditionality to the tags that I can use. Uh, and that basically has worked like an if statement, you know. If he's got the bit of paper, give him this tag. And then all these things here that happen afterwards are down to the tag being the trigger. So it's not until you get that tag that Kevy says thanks. You can see here, if we go over to the tell raw, it doesn't work until you get this love note tag. It's all about giving the player that. And then we say thanks. Kevy gets some particles. We take the note off the player. Um, we display a title you saw that up on my screen saying that you had done it well done um this is the default text after you've won he's going to be like hey my good friend good to see you uh this is the finished the quest tag uh, I, I have in my mind uh, some sort of tally system somewhere somewhere there'll be a big board with all the quests displayed and when you walk up to it the lights will turn on for which quests you've done and which ones you haven't and that'll be checking your tags to see if you have done uh the ST love done you know see if that tag is there then remove the tag for the quest completely because we're done with it uh, remove the love note tag that's probably the wrong way around probably should have done that differently but whatever uh, and then of course clear the villager interact which is how the entire quest system thing works anyway like all the quest systems ever work like that so that's pretty good i think whoop there's a couple of things i want to do here the first of course is to fill in this hole uh, no longer is this necessary so that's pretty good that felt a little a little skittery there putting putting the blocks in i'm not sure why that is a thing so kevy is done i'm not sure about his bedroom i think it needs a little bit more tweaking could probably do with a little something under there perhaps um some some signs or maps item frames something like that something that fits underneath should we should we get some item frames out item just just so it looks a little less a little less floaty oh uh, no it can't go in there exactly because the block's already there i think i would be able to should we try it take that break it pop that down like that and then can i uh, there we go i thought i could do that Let, let's try it again oh all right well that's not a thing then we'll, we'll try and figure out what can happen under there now the next thing i want to show you I've, I've sealed all that i've not sealed all this up yet okay the next thing i want to do is seal this up bam just like that and now people can't climb through there that's pretty good that this 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 corner here that's it this is what needs something very 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 much okay so we get down here you can see i've moved the fountain not only have i moved it from there to here but i've also done a little thing with it and i think it looks a lot better the uh the end rod's definitely coming into play there but mainly we got you know a pump going up to a dispenser and then something to make it not just look like a straight column of water so i, I think it kind of works not too sure about these and we've got glass blocks here that causing the lower split so that's pretty nice talking of a pretty nice i've upgraded this area remember i was saying how i wanted to uh put this dividing wall in here well i've not only done that hey fitz how's it going i'm currently working on his logic let's uh stick our faces down here working on his logic it's it's, it's underway uh back here we have a staff only area i'm not sure whether i'm gonna make it enterable at all enterable through through is a thing bam okay uh well whether this is just going to be a look I, I it could just be a nice place to look at i i'm not sure yet i'm not sure uh if i do put things in here it'll be like i don't know some, something raidable in one of these chests maybe, maybe we'll pick a chest at random turn them all into trap chests and every time you open one it picks a new random chest to put stuff in I, i'm not sure we could we could probably think of something about that now this guy he wants he wants some cookies actually that that that's what he wants he he is the ca the gatekeeper he holds the key to get through this door oh look the the elevator's in place that elevator's been causing me trouble we might have to try and um, do something different but we'll, we'll talk about that uh, you can see i've recessed the logo a little bit as well but fitz he wants you to come through there's a spawn point here you can see just down above my bar i've got that little spawn point set thing that's nice feedback feedback very important in any map you can't just have it like doing a, sp a spawn point without letting the person know because they'll be walking on, on and off of this going am i am i safe am i not uh, so this is an interesting area the first thing i should point out is that all this carpet well not all this carpet but the uh, outline of this carpet 
floats so that people can't get past this. This is a safe space, this, this little spawn area here. You can see this carpet here that also floats so that zombies can't get over it. Uh, their, their, their AI just can't deal with it. The AI doesn't see carpets at all and that's how it can walk on on, in the same block that the carpets are, if you will. Uh, but that means it sees through the floor uh, and sees a massive, great big pit there. Uh, double pit here, because, you know, that just needs to be safe. Uh, restaurant looking pretty good. I'm liking it. I, I feel like I actually need to write some branding up there rather than have these uh, these pictures. I've decided that the, the restaurant, just to be really awkward, is called Lotel. You know, L apostrophe hotel. Um, just because, I don't know, it sounds fancy to me. So we're going to go for that. Uh, back here, you actually need to come and look in this one here. I thought I'd rename the chest. Oh, well, that's not a thing. But you can see we've got some hot potatoes, natural growth, uh, healthy root. Because, you know, everyone wants to eat the healthy root. The prime cut of meat over there. Uh, but chef's finest cookies is what you're actually after. And actually, this is um, re refillable. So that's pretty good. Here's chef. Hey, Chef, how's it going, buddy? Do you want to come walk over this way a little bit so people can see who you are? I don't have a game mode set up. Let's watch me die, shall we? You coming for me? Come on. No. There we go. Okay, so Chef here. I'm in, I'm in survival mode. Why aren't you... Well, this is most unusual. Here we go. Uh, nope. Come on, come on, Chef. You can do it. Get, get out of there. Why aren't these guys swarming at me either? Something very odd is going on. Well, anyway, you can see that he's got white armor on because, uh, you know, that that's a, a good thing to bear in mind. All chefs wear white. He's also got his white hat and a chef's cleaver, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, all of these have a 10% chance of a dropping. I kind of wish I'd given him some shoes as well, so it was like 50% chance of something every time. Uh... I like the kitchen. I really, really, really like the kitchen. I feel like it needs a little work surface or something because at the moment all you've got are places for people to cook and then they come up and put the food down. Now that's not how kitchens work. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but you need somewhere to chop stuff up. Um, that, that's, that's pretty much the only other thing you need to do is chop stuff up. Uh, up here, a little bit cut and paste. I'm not, I'm not too keen on it. It's... Um, it's a good start, but it's not amazing. And over here, one of my pianos. I love this. I think I'm going to put a spawner underneath this uh, this stool and have the pianist. I, I think that's a good idea. Uh, I actually, I want to show you guys something. Let's uh, let's go to the admin room. Okay, welcome to the build zone. You can see, you know, I've got a few statues and floor plans lined out. If, you, if, you, if you're not aware of this place, this is where I just come and sketch out ideas. I've realised that my view distance is super low. I don't know what this is going to do if I turn it up mid mid-record. I don't know. I may lose all my RAM. I might not. But I've made a, a few pianos over here because I just thought it would be a good idea to knock out a few bits of fur furniture. I was trying to build that one back in the game world and this was the first idea that I came up with. I thought it was quite a good looking thing. A uh, nice little and a white piano, the the keys, it kind of it gives the right impression. I did that on uh, a few scales here. That's uh, that's pretty nice. I like my use of trap doors at the back. Gives a, a real sort of it just just screams piano at me these ones do anyway you see i've gone for a variety of different stool methods just because you know that's a necessary thing i think this one's my favorite i don't know why it's got a floaty back and all sorts but i, I do think this one is my favorite over here I, like once i built those i was like i need to do some black pianos and I, I quickly knocked these ones out i was like ah they're all right but i don't i don't get the feeling of the keys and i was like what is white and black oh, of course a bed now this this was really hard to set up here not only did i have to figure out what damage value it was to turn it around but i had to figure out how to put the color in turns out it was just an mbt tag but i didn't know so i had to had to dig around and find out block of wall at the top half of bed you you have to do a set block there is no other way of getting that there or at least not that i know of if anybody else knows that you've got to put the wall down first and then set the block next to it if you try and put the wall down afterwards you're gonna you're gonna lose and that's gonna update and it's gonna pop which is which is pretty bad uh the last design i have over here is all about well it's on a half slab i put down these uh daylight sensors here i was like yeah they're a good look an absolute good look i was looking for stuff with uh you know stratification to it lines things that look like piano keys uh and and i found these i was like well this is good but it's a little bit high up so i tried making it on the half slab which i i do like apart from this 
apart, apart from these bits right here. But I think it's just about passable. I can just about accept that as a piano. I kind of feel like it needs a lid. You see how this is this is open? I think it needs a, a thing holding it open. Anyway, that, that's the little thing I wanted to show you. Just a small range of furniture there. I think I'm going to make a few more of these. And I, honestly... I would like to see a few of these from you guys. Maybe not pianos, just furniture pieces. Different ways of doing chairs, beds, sofas. I mean, like, everybody, everybody does the same sofa thing, you know, where you're... Uh, let's, let's, let's grab some slabs out, followed by some wool. And, uh, uh, like, the only way I know to do a sofa is kind of like this. And I know that you could do, like, snow layers instead and uh, tweak the, the different blocks. But has anybody got, like, an actual different design for sofas? I'm not sure. Uh, tables as well. Ways of, like, putting something down that you can put other things on top of. You see, this has got, like, a half slab on top. Trapdoor um, is also pretty good for that. The problem with the trapdoor is unless you're using carpet... Like you can put carpet on top, but if I think if I do this correctly, you can't put a flower pot. Is that? Yeah, you can't do that. Okay, so like some blocks are more suitable than others, but I just I don't know any decent table designs. I kind of make them up as I go along, you know. So we were going to talk about this lift. It has been causing trouble. So right now, at the moment, there is no problem at all. But whilst the lift is here, if I press this button now. It will totally break it. Um, do I, do I want to show you? Let's do it. So I press that button, and then I press up. Now, it's going to be a little laggy. That's just the way this lift works. But if we get... To, oh, the, the door's open. Why is that door open? Well, this is kind of my point, is that... If you double press buttons or yeah, basically it's the call system. If you double press the call system, everything goes wrong. Now you can see I've put an observer up the top here. I'm trying to figure out where it is I would want to trigger it. Let's uh, let's break and get out of here. Where it is I would like that observer system to open up to if I want it to be an auto fix. Because the only thing that ever happens is it goes all the way up. You've not gone all the way up. That's a little unfortunate. I was kind of hoping you would. Why? Why have you stopped here? What? What has possibly stopped you? Uh, but anyway, you can kind of kickstart it by providing a pulse at the right place. And I was thinking the observer would be the ideal way of doing that. Did, did, do you reckon it got all the way up? It, it could have. It very well could have. So let's put that back. And then now that that's happened, now that it's made its way all the way up and back, it will go. Seriously, I'm pressing shift. Let me play, play stuff down. It'll go all the way back and just reset, and then everything will be fine. There, there's literally no reason ooh, for it to... Because at the moment, the call system is uh, is triggered. Let's let's go through here. Uh, you guys might know how this works, but at the back here, there's this little system. You see the red block, the... Uh, Pistons pushing back and forth. Nice, nice. Uh, that, that beautiful demonstration there. Uh, this was what was stopping it all... Uh, this was what was stopping it stop? Is that is that the, really the phrase I want to use? This was the thing that was jamming up the, the stop system uh, to allow it to carry on through to the different places that had been called. But obviously, the place that had been called was down below, but this hadn't arrived to tell it to turn off. So that, that's, a, that's a big problem there, guys. We've got to really try and stop and think about that at some point. But it is literally the only thorn in my side at the moment. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this... Ooh, building adventure. I kind of did a lot of it off camera here. I don't know how you guys feel about that, especially all of this area here. I, I kind of like what went down, um, definitely given the, the space I had for thinking. Uh, the next episode is definitely going to be about these buildings here, and if we go all the way to the top, we may or may not see it. Uh, whilst I'm on my way up, let's talk about that parkour route over there. I'm having real trouble putting a workable parkour route in. I can make something that's so hard nobody's ever going to complete it, that's that's not what we like. But this floor up here, this this is going to be my next bit to work on. Maybe only getting the access way in via the odd floors. And then up here we have the penthouse, which is literally only Elytra accessible. But anyway, I'll see you guys when we're going to do that. Bye! Uh, it's quite a big building, really.